everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stocks. Well, today I'm going to review CYH. This is one of the plays of the days today in the Stocks will show live trading room. Nice, nice move in here. It's completely done for the day, rallying with the market after the lunchtime period. Let me just show you here the trade. I did not hold this all the way down to the target. We had a big discussion in the room this morning about targets. Why? Because not every trade goes to the target. Now, that being said, this did go to the target, the first target, and that's it. That's where I got out. It went to the second target, then it went to the third target. It did not go to the dream target, but it had a great move, a wonderful, fabulous move. The, the market is rallying today. I knew the market would be strong today. I knew the play today, if you shorted, was the morning and out, and that is exactly what I did. I follow my plan of action, and when you go into the day, when you trade, you need to know exactly what you're doing. And also, I like to trade the morning be out as quickly as possible. I like to make as much money as quickly as possible and be out. That's my goal in life. So let's go over this here. Anyway, CYH, I liked it. I rated the gap based on the daily chart. Here you have it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gap down, open way lower than what I thought. Opened. I wanted it to rally. I was very, very patient today. And then it broke. Boom. Shorted it here. Dropped. Got out of some of it into here because the drop was actually big. And all of a sudden, I, I was in it. And then I saw what I was up. I was like, oh, and I got out of half. Rallied back. Base, 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 base. Dropped. Went. Went to the next target. Boom. Exactly. 150%. There. That was it. That was the morning move. Now, then it had a big bar. Then it finally went to 13. But what I'm saying is that this was a beautiful move into the target okay with and you just took it and you were up every second since you took it this bar if you were in this down in here you were look at the push up okay so this is like a differentiation of 50 cents that you would have been up money you were still been up here because i mean the entry was so good but you would have actually been not up as much until it broke so really this was wily one today but I did not hold this all the way down to here. I'm glad that I didn't because this would have been bothersome. Again, many, many days I rate the gap. I have the pick. I take the trade. I get the drop. I'm out. Boom. That's it. And sometimes they go a little bit more. As it turns out, this did. But do you see here where I'm talking about common sense? And this is what we're talking about in the room today. Common sense. Common sense. You don't give back 50 cents in profit to make another 35 cents. Common sense. Don't do it. Don't do it. So many days, so many days, things go and we're up so quickly. In fact, it's every day unless, unless it doesn't work out, actually, because my entries are so spot on. So at the end of the day, you've got to book money. The most important thing I want people to get is you must book money in the market. When you're up, book something. You cannot hold everything to every target every day. It doesn't always get there. Many times things do get to targets when I call them, but you may suffer until it goes to the target. Don't do that to yourself. Make trading easy. And it, and it really has become very quite easy for me because I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for a long time. And I don't let myself get exasperated through moves like that where it pushes back against you. It's just not worth it for the profit of the differentiation, especially when you trade with size. So the key is doing it, getting the right pick, taking the right entry, getting the move, and taking it with size. And then you make enough money to satisfy yourself. You've got to get to the point where you learn what you're doing to know how to take it with size and get the right pick. But I really think that's key. And and you can hold a smidgen, a piece of it, if you really want to, to get it down to some kind of area. But I think the key really is to make money. And, and I consistently do that. And people in the room are too. So nice trade today. Nice short at CYH. Did exactly what I wanted to do, which was get in and get out quickly before the market rallied. Email me at Melissa the stockswish.com if you'd like more information on that upcoming Golden Gap class, which is this week in February 20th and 21st. Have a good day, everyone.